Richard Olson, a former ambassador to Pakistan and United Arab Emirates, has been charged of illegal foreign lobbying. What exactly is illegal foreign lobbying? Turns out in this case, while he was ambassador of these two countries, Pakistan and UAE, and before his term ended, he was soliciting business. He was trying to be like a lobbyist in Washington, and he was doing this for various countries. One was of course Pakistan, then the big one is Qatar, Q-A-T-A-R. Qatar is a silent player, viewers. This, guy, this country is the richest Arab nation, it's the most mischievous in my opinion because they, they are the ones, look, they brokered the Afghanistan Taliban deal and look where it ended up being. It was a total disaster as far as the West was concerned. US ran with its tail tucked between its legs. Anyway, so what is happening in the case of Richard Olson was that he has been criminally charged for his alleged role in an undisclosed lobbying campaign. <clears throat> now, the Justice Department has charged him with making false statements in ethics paperwork and violating laws restricting foreign lobbying for ex by ex-federal federal officials and both of these are misdemeanors, meaning like sort of crimes. Okay. In his court filings, Olson has said that he's planning to plead guilty, meaning like he's not even going to contest it. He's going to say, yes, I made a mistake. I should be given a lighter sentence. In the United States, sometimes the prosecution will offer what is called as a plea bargain. A plea bargain is one where the charge might be worth 10 years in prison, but if the person who's charged says that, okay, I admit to it, if you reduce the sentencing from say 10 years to two years or something like that, and this is called as a plea bargain. I accept that I'm guilty, but I get a lighter sentence. Something like that could be in the works here. Now, what exactly is the crime that he did? What he did was that Olson received $20,000 monthly payment from an unnamed Pakistani American lobbyist for the work. They agreed on that work either just prior to or shortly after Olson left government service, prosecutors say. So this is where the problem is. You don't just like that turn somebody on for $20,000 a month salary. What else? The lobbyist also flew Olson to London in early 2015, we are still in Obama period, while he was serving as ambassador. See, this is where the problem comes. He was an ambassador. He's not supposed to be doing private lobbying. To meet an unidentified Bahraini businessman who offered Olson a 300,000 per year contract at their company, the Justice Department says. Court filings do not say whether the agreement was reached or not. Now, in late 2016, this goes on, um, Olson worked with his Pakistani American contact and high level Qatari government officials to uh, advance Doha, that is called Qatar, Doha's interest in Washington. So he was basically representing Qatari interest in Washington. When Saudi Arabia, the UAE and other Gulf nations cut diplomatic ties with Qatar. This happened under Trump's regime in 2017 and blockaded its only land border, citing financial support for terrorism. Also, lobbied US government officials to take Qatar's side in the dispute, the Department of Justice says. According to the information, Olson personally contacted the US ambassador to Qatar and several sitting members of the US House of Representatives as part of the effort. Prosecutors say he also provided behind the scenes support for a Qatari government lobbying campaign aimed at establishing US customs and border border protection pre-clearance facilities at the Doha airport. Where's the problem? The problem is that federal law bars senior US officials from participating in lobbying or public relations effort on behalf of foreign governments within a year of leaving office. This is the crime. This guy was still an ambassador and he was already representing some country's interests. And you have to give that one year cooling period. He did not do that. 
Why? So here's his more thing. Prosecutor say that Olson also knowingly filed false Office of Government Ethics paperwork by failing to disclose payments from his Pakistani American contact for travel to London, where they discussed post-government business arrangements. While also never registered as a foreign agent of Qatar, he is not charged with violating the Foreign Agents Registration Act. So what's the big picture? What, what exactly does it come down to? The Gulf diplomatic crisis of 2017, that is when Trump started making some very quick moves, he, he took back the deal with Iran, then there was a realignment of sorts, Qatar was identified as a country that supports terrorism and so on and so forth. So I get some specific names, Pakistani American businessman named Imad Zuberi who worked with the Qatari government was sentenced to 12 years in prison last year for a sprawling scheme of illicit influence peddling, tax evasion and illegal campaign contributions. Okay, so what are you telling me? You asked, well, Elan Omar ka bhi number aega. Why? Because you, you search and replace, that's what you're going to get. Except that right now she is a member of the uh, Congress. She's a Congresswoman, but there is a long list of violations. So we have to wait and see if this has got any connection with uh, Ilan Omar. We don't know. But slowly but steadily, the DOJ is tightening the loop, tightening the noose around some of the Pakistani Americans peddling influence, bribing senators, bribing congressmen, and now in this case, bribing ex-ambassadors. This is just the beginning. This story is out just a few hours ago. I would request you all to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And do not forget to click on the bell button for notifications. I know I look like I'm begging. I'm not begging. I hope the reason I keep saying this is because one in two of you are still not subscribed. Nothing will happen if you subscribe. It just makes your life a little bit easier. When you notification you get, you read the heading and if it looks interesting, go and watch. We promise to keep these things as short as possible. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.